Would you like to pay, pay as you go, license including, $548 a month or $35 a month? I know which one I'd rather pay. Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, what we're going to be discussing is we're going to talk about virtual machine pricing. Now, virtual machines can get expensive, really expensive, in fact. But there are some neat little tricks that you can actually do to bring this price right down. This is really useful if you're using your own Azure environment to test and play with virtual machines and services on Azure, and you don't want to pay hundreds of dollars a month for what really looks like a very basic VM. Sometimes you go in and say, hey, I can have four cores, I can have eight gigs of RAM, and then right down the bottom, you look at the cost per month and think, wow, okay, that's a little bit more expensive than I thought. We can really bring those prices down though. And I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks here that's going to allow you to reduce those prices 40 or 50% to start with, and then up to 90 or 95% lower by just flicking a couple of settings and making use of some Azure features that don't really show up when we're broadcasting out and showing things like the AZ900 and the AZ104 and the AZ305. So stick around and we're gonna have a look at a couple of little Azure virtual machine features to get your bill down by 90 or 95%. Okay, so I'm over here in my Azure environment at the moment. This is great, this is just my test environment. There's nothing really particularly interesting going on here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to create a new resource group here called Temp. And then in this resource group, I'm gonna start creating a virtual machine. So if I just go virtual machine, select virtual machines, all's well and good so far. We're not going to do anything fancy here with Arc or VMware. We're just going to deploy a basic Azure virtual machine. Now, inside these basic Azure virtual machines, let's go and make sure to select that temp resource group. And let's go and change this from Ubuntu. Let's change this to Windows Server 2022 Hot Patch Edition running on 64-bit. Now. Um, I'm going to deploy this out to East US, but look at the sizing down here. We're looking at a standard B2S machine, it's 25 pounds a month. If we take something with a little bit more specification than this, and we go for something like that, a standard D8S, which is eight vCPUs and 32 gigs worth of RAM, that's $227 a month, that's, that's expensive, okay? but we can reduce that quite heavily. Now, one of the things here, the first thing to think about is the region itself. Now, East US, I don't know if you've ever been to East US and you've been out to New York, New York, but that place can be a little expensive, a little pricey. So what about if we deploy somewhere else? If I go to this location, and I go to azureprice.net, what I have is I have the ability to see the pricing across all the different regions around the world. Maybe I don't want to deploy out to East US. Maybe what I want to do is I want to deploy out to a different region. So what was I looking at here? I was looking at a standard D8S V3. Okay, so standard, uh, where are we? D8S underscore V3. There we go. So this is, wow, okay. That was uh, not the greatest example because this is actually the cheapest location where we can actually run that. The DSV3 um, is the cheapest in East US. So if we go and compare the regions, um, yeah, notice here, East US is actually the cheapest for that. And the most expensive over here, it doesn't actually tell me which is the most expensive, but we can see that West US and the prices are actually climbing. Um, a lot of the times East US is actually pretty cheap, but if you deploy to places out, out um, in things like India, so India West and India Central, they can actually get a lot cheaper. So we can bring those prices down. Maybe I want to select something different. Maybe I want to compare what that would be is if it was running in UK South, for example. You can see in the East US, it's actually 17% cheaper in East US. So first rule set is definitely does it really need to be sent to that region? And if you're testing, maybe not. Maybe you can send it somewhere else. Okay, that's fine. Um, what about if we want to go and adjust the pricing a little bit? Well,
Let's go to the Azure Pricing Calculator. So if I go to the Azure Pricing Calculator and start to look at one of these VMs, let's go and check this out, wait for it to load. There we go. Let's get rid of this virtual machine and let's go and create a new one to add to estimate. And let's go take a East US DS3, what was it? It was a, I <laughs> can never remember them, a D8S V3, a D8S V3. So let's go and select that D8S uh, V3. There we go. 548 US dollars a month. Now this is set on the good old pay-as-you-go pricing. You are paying per minute that this is actually running. That's great because that means we can just use the resources that we need and we can destroy this whenever we want to and there's no ongoing cost. But this is not good if we want to run this all the time. This price also includes our Windows license, our data center license inside here. So we're not just paying for the virtual machine, we're paying for the operating system as well. So I can choose this option here, Azure Hybrid Benefit, and you can see that that's automatically reduced to $280. That's a huge difference, huge, huge, huge difference just by selecting Azure Hybrid Benefit. If I want to use that inside Azure down here, and I already have a Windows license, I'm just going to go here and literally select that tick box right there underneath licensing. Just tick that and say, yes, I already have a Windows Server licensing. I have basically halved the cost just by that single tick box. Now, there is no hard check on that. Microsoft will not look for your license inside that VM. It would come up in an audit if Microsoft actually audit your company. But if you're spinning this up now, it doesn't ask you to prove any licenses or prove you actually own that operating system just yet. So that's a great way of saving money straight away. OK, now there is a couple of options here, savings plans and reserved instances. I'll discuss savings plans at a later date. But what I want to point out here is reserved instances. What this allows us to do, it's like taking out a mobile phone contract. You can say, hey, I'm going to sign up for 24 months. And within that 24 months, I will pay per month. OK, but I'm in that contract for 24 months. If I know this virtual machine is alive 24 hours a day, seven days a week, what I can do is I can click this three year reservation button and essentially I'm signing up for a three year contract. And look at that. I've dropped now to one hundred and seven dollars and fifty eight cents. Amazing. So. If I switch those options back to pay as you go and license included, $548 a month versus Azure Hybrid Benefit, $107 a month. Way cheaper, so like 80% cheaper already. But we can do better. We can get even cheaper than this. And we can do it by using something called an Azure Spot instance. So it's this button over here, run with Azure Spot discount. So if you click run with Azure Spot discount, what you're essentially doing is you're saying, OK, Microsoft, let's make a deal. And Microsoft are like, OK, cool. Um, Microsoft, have you got any spare capacity? And Microsoft's like, yeah, cool. We've got loads of spare capacity in our data centers and we will sell it you at a really cheap discounted price. All right, great. Sounds awesome. But, uh, but, uh, but we get to take that capacity back whenever we want and we can delete your virtual machine whenever we want it's like okay but look at the savings that we get we've got capacity or price capacity and stop and deallocate or delete now this is really important this stop and deallocate versus delete this stop and deallocate here basically allows microsoft to say right I have another customer here and this customer is coming along and they want to pay full price. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop your virtual machine. I'm not going to delete your data, but I'm going to stop your virtual machine and give you the option to kind of pay more money, the same as the other guy. Um, but you still get your discount um, to start with. The delete over here, this will trash your machine. This will delete your machine and it won't just deallocate it, it will delete all the storage completely evicted from Azure. So you'll lose your VM. So this is great for testing. This is also great for virtual machines that don't have data on them or permanent data on them. OK, so if you just want to spin up a computer just to play with for a few hours, 
um, and you're aware of this eviction policy, um, you can save a lot of money here. Let's see how much money we can actually save. So this maximum price you want to pay per hour, I'm going to ignore that for the moment. I'm going to click this, view pricing history and compare prices in nearby regions. So let's go and pull that up. And we can see here, this East US and East US 2 and Canada Central. Turns out in Canada, it's a little cheaper. Maybe they've got hydroelectric power. I don't know. So maybe it's currency fluctuations. I don't know. Different data centers have got different pricing and different spot pricing. So let's go work that out. So let's go launch a calculator here. And let's take US dollars 0 0.04862. Multiply that by 24 because that's a per hour cost. And multiply that by 30 to give it a monthly cost, give or take. $35 a month. Wow. Okay. So for the same virtual machine, the same VM, and the same specification, the same power, the same speed, would you like to pay, pay as you go, license including, $548 a month or $35 a month? I know which one I'd rather pay. $35 a month all day long. Great. But there's a problem. If I don't want to pay full price, Microsoft are going to stop my VM. All right, it could be fine. I mean, I've got a couple of virtual machines that only spin up on demand when I need them and they're running a specific task, way cheaper. But there's a trick you can do here. Look at this box. Maximum price you want to pay per hour, okay? So this is basically saying, look, this is where you want to pay, okay? If it goes over that limit, I'm going to stop and deallocate your machine, but I'll go up to that price. Okay, it's like bidding on junk on eBay. You go up to this price and then stop afterwards. But we can do a neat little trick in here. There's something that's not mentioned here. If I put a number in here, it will we'll carry on. That's fine. But if I put negative one in here, it moans at me. It says the value must be at least 0 0.05745. This is not valid, this negative one, inside this wizard. But if we go and look at the documentation for deploying Azure Spot virtual machines using the Azure portal, and you scroll down here, right? Look at this line. If you set the max price to be negative one, the VM won't be evicted based on price. The price of the VM will be the current price for the spot or the price of a standard VM, which is whichever is less as long as there is capacity and quota available. You do negative one in the portal, it won't allow you to do it. But if you do that through a PowerShell command when deploying this virtual machine, or you do it through um, templates, it should allow you to actually do that. Unless by the time this video goes out, or unless at some point in the future, Microsoft change things, which they always have the right to do. And if you're in Azure land yourselves, you'll know that Microsoft change things very often. Uh, so yeah, if you decide to set the price to be negative one, you can take advantage of these price discounts. Get yourself your lovely $35 a month. Get like 90% off here for your virtual machine, but still not lose any availability. Because as that price creeps up for that virtual machine in spot instance, once it reaches the price of a normal standard virtual machine, it will still be running. Okay? Just that single line there changes the whole nature of spot discounts and means you can still have an active running virtual machine with, I was going to say 100% uptime availability then, but nobody guarantees 100% uptime with more uptime availability for a much cheaper price. So in summary, guys, if you are running virtual machines 24 hours a day for seven days a week, make sure you use your reserved instances. If you already have a Windows license, make sure to choose Azure Hybrid Benefit to bring that down. And if you're playing with test virtual machines and you are paying for this stuff yourself, make sure to use Azure Spot discounts, especially if you're just creating VMs to test something and then bringing that back down again and destroying them at the end of it, or even just stopping them at the end of it. So I hope you enjoyed the section about how to save like 90% of your money on Azure virtual machines just by clicking a couple of extra buttons. Hopefully I'll be back to a more normal schedule soon and I hope you enjoyed the video and you'll join me next time. Remember, hashtag like and subscribe guys.
and you know the routine hashtag like and subscribe and i hope you enjoyed this video and will join me next time goodbye